Okay, this is going to be an old-fashioned gear review of the Champion 2500 inverter. The first thing you need to do with any uh, gasoline or propane generator is check the oil. And with the Champion, you take off four screws, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Well, I'm taking the cover off. Let me explain. This is the model 200961 of the Champion Power Unit 2500 watt dual fuel portable inverter generator ultra light. I purchased it from Amazon where it has reviews numbering 2210 with a rating of 4.5. The gasoline capacity in the tank is 1.1 gallons which will give you running operation of 11.5 hours and with the 20 pound propane tank you get a whopping 34 hours of operation. The Champion 2500 inverter weighs 39 pounds and having the propane as a source of energy is very advantageous. Propane never goes bad and oftentimes uh, people have other uh, equipment that runs on propane so it's easy to justify having uh, several 20-pound uh, tanks available in case of an emergency. Also I believe using just solely the propane makes storing the unit long term uh, easier with less risk of any deterioration. Currently the Champion 2500 sells for $699 I primarily purchased it to support a uh, refrigerator freezer in case of electricity outage. Take the cover off and here's the uh, oil stick. Open that up. And the oil should be on the first screw there, which, uh, get down it. Yeah, essentially it's there. So let's close this up. You turn the propane gas open so now we have gas here this is connected connected here so we'll just turn this to the choke and give it five pulls slowly one, two, three, four, five. And then we turn it to propane run and it should start up for us. There we go. Champion 2500 inverter. Let's try a little uh, test. I'm going to pl plug in a Black & Decker drill and put some power to it. So, Champion 2500. Can we say Quality, quality, quality. It's a great piece of machinery. Highly recommend it. Now I need to put the, uh, the cover back on the oil cover. Okay, 
so to turn off the uh, Champion 2500, you simply take the gas. Okay, here's the control panel. The uh, right here is your circuit breakers. This is for the 20 amp. On the opposing side is a circuit breaker for 8 amp. We have the economy mode button here. The low oil warning light here. The AC overload reset button. These are parallel links. I guess if you run two units together this is two 120 volt outlets has a plastic or rubber cover and uh, here's the 12 volt outlet with a rubber covering the grounding here's your inlet for the um, propane and you line it up right here and that plugs in there and then this is called the easy start the choke with the propane you pull three to five times slowly and then you move it over to the propane run right here where it's pointing at right now and uh, you pull that um, I on the second pull it started I run exclusively propane, but uh, you use the choke for gasoline, and then once it gets started, you move it to this little gasoline pump symbol here for running on gasoline. And if it's running on gasoline, when you want to turn it off, you just switch here. That's, that's the off. But once you turn off the propane valve on the 20-pounder, um, and it stops then just as I did here I'll put it on um, stop so just a great product